Hi, in this video, I will continue to add some functionality to our activity form. Let's look at our activity form. First of all, uh, I want to add uh, a button to our expense uh, form. Uh, for this, let's open our uh, custom group here. And we have uh, many items on expense trans and drag and drop this and now i have expense trans button uh, i added the expense trans button to our form okay uh, so i can uh, in, i can uh, create uh, different expenses for one activity for example uh, uh, when i uh, go to a customer i can uh, use a taxi and I eat a meal, etc. So there will be one more than one uh, expenses related to our activity. Uh, but if I want to show a total, uh, uh, total expense in uh, grid, I can write a display method. Uh, be careful about this because when you write uh, uh, a sum query like this, it might uh, slow down your form. Uh, it's it's not uh, it's not a best practice to put these kind of display methods in grid. Uh, but for training purpose, let's create a, a display method for total expenses and add our grid. Uh, you should always write display methods in tables. Uh, for this example, the best way to create uh, this display method is activity table. Let's create a new method here. Okay. Display and amount is total. Answers. First of all, I need uh, if the expense chance and I need to write a uh, some query for this one. Let's write like this. Now let's return. Okay, it's ready. Uh, this is a simple sum query. I summed amount uh, from related uh, activities and I return this value. Uh, so I can use this uh, in our form right now. Let's one. In grid, let's create a new new view. Properties and select data source and data method here. Let's write directly. Okay. 
No, uh, let's give a label of Okay, now it's ready. Also, uh, let's create another uh, display method. Uh, you know, we have project ID and cost account here, but we don't have names for this one. We, we created before this uh, method for duty table. And we can copy from that. Let's copy from here. And let's it's it's same code no problem also uh, also we need uh, we need a modified field method uh, to uh, assign cast account to project id related project id let's copy this one too but we need to change Activity table and the other is same. Okay. Uh, now, lastly, I want to add a, a validation. Uh, we don't have validation here, but I want a validation for our activity table. Um, if I select uh, or if I input a, a duration, for example, eight hour, but uh, no invoice duration, then uninvoiced uh, invoiced reason must be mandatory. So I will check this uh, and uh, show some error to users. Let's do that too. Uh, activity table, let's all write validate write methods and it validate right we can write something like this if uh, this not the invoice duration different than this uh, duration and of course this knock We can, it's, it's not a, a string field, so we can write like this. Okay, if so, let's write Okay, uh, now we did some validation, uh, some modified fields and some display methods, but we didn't uh, add this display method to our grid. Let's add them, mm, create new uh, string for them, properties. What means it's 
duplicate this one and close name. Okay, now let's this one and This. Also, we need to uh, actually close uh, these two editing. The last time we did on uh, table properties, but this time let's uh, do in data source. Okay, now I close for this field to editing. Now let's save and uh, check uh, if our uh, customization uh, working. I'm starting my project. Okay, and now I, I can see my display methods here and my couple expense here. Also, we create this one. Uh, let's create a new record. project ID. Okay, automatically assigned a customer account here. And let's give duration, for example, eight hour. And let's try to save. Okay. Because I didn't enter invoice duration, I need to select uh, uninvoiced reason. Now I can save it. Okay, let's enter an expense to this record. Let's give expense type ID. Hmm. There is an uh, error uh, for this one because probably we didn't create a relation uh, to active expense type uh, so we, we cannot choose uh, right uh, right we, we, we cannot see look up here let me guess what was the value okay. Okay, let's create another one. Okay, now let's go back and see if our, let's refresh our form of course first. Now let's look at our Yes, I can see my total here. Okay, we forget to add a relation to uh, expense trans table. Let's uh, do that directly. In expense trans. Let me look at. Okay, as you can see, we don't have any relation to uh, activity expense trans. And okay. now uh, look how will show uh, there. Okay, let's uh, go back and check uh, our method. First, I exp 
edit the dis, uh, total uh, expense display, cost uh, name and project name display. Also, I add a, a modified field uh, which I assign customer uh, account to relate uh, related project. Also, I create a validation for this one, and this validation uh, is about duration. If I uh, if, if I have a differences with uh, duration, uh, you must select uninvoiced reason code. Uh, also, we edit a uh, expense trans button to our form, and we use main items as a button here. We can add uh, in menus uh, this main item, but also we can create a button from this menu item so it's it's a, it's a very effective and uh, user friendly uh, functionality because we have relation uh, between activity table and activity expense trans uh, this button uh, dynamically creates a relation uh, between uh, these two data source and automatically filters the record so it's a very uh, very easy and very efficient uh, way to use uh, this kind of uh, forms. I hope it's helping. Happy ducks. Helping. Happy ducks.